Hi, this is Fidelis. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I ace the Amazon interview and I'm going to be sharing with you a few tips on how you two can ace that interview for the managerial role. So stay tuned and let's get to it. Let me start by saying that I really understand what it means to go through the whole job hunting process. I have been there. As a matter of fact, and for the records, I applied for over 200 jobs. Over 200 jobs. Over 200 jobs. Over 200 jobs. And I just was able to finally get one. So I know what it feels like. I remember specifically when, sometime about three months ago, when I shared a post on LinkedIn, um, a particular recruiter from Amazon reached out to me and asked if I was interested in any of the roles in Amazon. And of course it was a yes. So I was invited to um, go on the job portal and search for any role that I think was I didn't fit and I really loved. And of course I found one which was specifically and targeted to my career roles and career ambitions. And the interesting part of it was um, I shared the, the link to this person and guess what? She literally just made a referral. I mean, Thankfully, the beautiful news was that when I was referred, I got an, a direct email that I was invited for a phone interview with a recruiter and it was a very great experience you know having just to know that yes you are worth being called directly without even having to have done like heavy applications it was just my first application and i got to the app okay so i finally got um, invited for an interview a phone interview with a recruiter that seems to be the very first process um the interview went well it involved basically getting to know who i am basically why amazon and also a lot um it had to do with a lot of um getting to know what my qualifications were what my background were and all of that and it went well you know thankfully so of course it led to the second interview stage and in this interview stage i was going to be meeting directly with the hiring manager so the hiring manager was going to be um, interviewing me to know exactly what my motivations were why amazon and of course the leadership principles um, in the course of this video, I'm going to be giving you a few tips on basically how the leadership principles should um, be used and what works for I should say that in my interview with the hiring manager was a very, very customer friendly experience. Um, I had enough time to prepare. Even during the interview, she asked if I needed a cup of coffee, if I needed a, a cup of water. I just felt really good by that experience. And I think that most um, recruiters and most people having this interview should actually be really nice to candidates, you know, so that was a very good experience. So I gave um, Amazon that great feedback. So after this stage, again, I got an email between two to five business days. They said they were going to get back to me. So I got an email that said, dude, you had done really well in the last interview. And that led to um, a panel interview. And this panel interview involved basically having one-on-ones with about four members of the team, including the barrizer. Basically, um, a barrizer is the one who asks some of the toughest questions. And he also determines basically the one who raises the bar for the interview process. Um, that is not to say that you should go around looking for who the barrisa would be, but it could be anyone in the interview panel. I didn't mind because I already I just wanted to uh, make sure that I had my right answers, I had my right um, value, I knew exactly what I was bringing on board, and I shared that message across all the different interviews and interviewers that I that I had. After this, again, um, thankfully, I got a mail that yes, dude, you did really well, and now we want to take you to have one more final interview, and this final interview was with yet another hiring manager and um, here there was a lot of questions about you know what i bring on board my background why i really wanted to work with amazon and basically again talking about one or two leadership principles and whether or not i had um, experiences in some of those leadership areas and after the whole interview of course as the name of practice of interviews um i should have said that across all interviews there are always a need to ask very quality and critical questions yeah and I remember asking specifically great questions. Um, I think that was one of the feedback I got. Finally, after this final interview, um, I got a phone call from the recruiter. He gave me the feedback from all the interviews I've had and they were basically positive. And finally, he was happy to make an offer. So it was a verbal offer and there was a need to have that written. So I, I was very excited about it. And of course I went ahead and said, yes, please let him go ahead and send an email. So the offer was made with all the compensation and benefits and went to the negotiation stage and we, we came to a final deal. So that was my experience and here we are. Okay, so right about now, I'll be sharing with you some tips that worked for me and has worked for many other Amazonians and even for potential candidates who I've had the opportunity of discussing with. Very first tip is please leverage LinkedIn. Um, as I said, I got this introduction via LinkedIn. You never know. Make sure you have the quality um, network of folks on LinkedIn and make sure that you're connecting rightly with people. 
in this case, I would advise um, if you really, really, really want to have a job with Amazon or any of the tech companies, one advice that I would suggest is look for any of the employee with Amazon to put in a reference for you or to refer you. That oftentimes might give you a better chance than most folks. Second um, tip would be make sure you go research and read the leadership principles. I would say don't just read and research it, master it. There comes a time, in fact, after it's a while, for me personally, I had to create a whole acronym from the whole leadership principles. And I think it helped guide not just the way I was thinking and the way I answered questions, but even helped um, inspire the way I came about um, giving the right responses, right? So I would say that, yes, that's a very brilliant thing to do. Read, study, and more importantly, master the leadership principles. Tip number three, do all you can to make sure that you answer the questions using the STAR method. I would suggest go on YouTube. There are many resources on how to go about this, but the STAR method is simply an acronym for situation, action. Sorry, situation, task, action, and results. In my case, I use the STAR with an extra L, which stood for learning. So whenever I talked about a situation, a task, an action and a result. I also talked about what I learned from that situation. And of course, I ended it with what I you know, um, offer to the organization or offer as a member of that team. My final tip is make sure you sell yourself all through the interview. And by selling yourself, I mean from making sure that you're always communicating value. Even though you're answering all the behavior questions, make sure you're always offering value at the end. What you bring to Amazon, what you bring on the road, what you bring to the manager, what you bring to your team. Make sure that you're always offering, offering, offering services, offering what you can do. Communicate consistently, not just what you have done, but what you can do. And understand um, the job description, very important, because oftentimes you've asked a lot of questions based on that. Use a lot of facts, figures, and metrics in your answer. Make sure the case scenarios you're giving are real case scenarios from your job, your past job role, and do all you can to make sure that you are answering the questions using a lot of facts, figures, data. Um, behavioral questions need you to not just talk about a case in point, but talk about the case in point in line with the role you're applying for and based on your particular experience. And of course, use a lot of metrics, talk about numbers, talk about people, talk about places, talk about roles. All of that oftentimes will give you um, a very high chance of being selected. So guys, thank you very much for sticking by. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you really thought this was very useful, please share this with other folks who might need it. Um, most of the tips I, I shared here are basically the same things you can use for most job, um, job interviews and job search and strategies. So use them and all the best in your job search. All right, thank you guys and see you in my next video.